Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter LSU beat writer for NOLA.com. I'm with fellow beat writer Randa Rosetta. It's Kentucky week. LSU's coming off a 30-27 to victory over Florida, a much-needed victory for the Tigers. One, it looked like they tried to give away, and then Florida tried to give it away, and then LSU tried to give it away. Um, but I think it may mark a turning point in LSU's season. I think we saw on offense uh, a team that uh, is struggling at quarterback. Suddenly, they're going back to the ground game. They give the ball to Leonard for at 27 times. He gets 140 yards. I think uh, LSU has found its personality maybe for the rest of the season. Right. This reminds me of the, some of the other Florida games where that, for one reason or another, became a kind of a rallying cry or turning point, like you said. If, it, maybe this is where the offense kind of finds itself. You mentioned Leonard. He caught a few pa- or he ran the ball a few times. Some of the other guys caught passes in key situations. Not many of them. Anthony Jennings start to finish wasn't great but at the end I thought he made some really nice big time plays that you have to have a quarterback make at some point. Yeah, and um, LSU has got to do something because I think their defense has not played as well as they expected. Uh, just got gashed in the first two games. It looked like they learned a little something. This this Florida offense uh, was uh, was scuffling too. It's not the best spread offense they'll face, but uh, I think LSU learned a few things, got some confidence, and now the defense is playing much better. Three turnovers. And uh, they stopped that option read. They stopped the quarterback from killing them. In, the, in Auburn and Mississippi State games, those quarterbacks just tore LSU up. Yeah, Jeff Driscoll's as athletic as those other two guys, but not maybe not quite as fast. So they had to find some way to stop him. Christian Lackatcher said it was a matter of kind of staying put on some plays and just tackling better. The secondary didn't tackle quite as well in this game, and they gave up a couple big plays. But if LSU can figure out a way to stop that read option in particular – that's going to change this defense because then John Chavis can rely more on the cornerbacks one-on-one against receivers and do some different things with the linebackers who really have started to come around. Quan Alexander and now Kendall Beckwith look like they really it's, – it's clicked in for those two. And now they have Kentucky, another game, another – part of the turning point of their season. A victory here makes LSU bowl eligible. There are a lot of LSU fans that were fearing LSU would lose the rest of their games, but they're going to get better. They're going to improve as the season goes, and some of these other teams are maybe not as good as we thought. For instance, Texas A&M. Right. There's games that look winnable now that a few weeks ago looked a little bit dicey, and I like this Kentucky matchup for LSU for these two reasons. Their quarterback doesn't run as much. That's not the key part of their offense. And they don't stop the run very much. That kind of clicks in with what LSU does well. And we'll see how they do. Uh, Follow us on NOLA.com for all the best LSU coverage. For Randy Rosetta, I'm Jim Kleinpeter, and we'll see you on NOLA.com.